Hello everybody, this is a review of my favorite car, so let's get right into it, shall we? So, here's my 1968 Bruckwell Moonhawk, let me show you the specs. It uh, is powered by a 502 cubic inch V8 with a race rev limiter, which is about, I'd say 7200. Um, dual side pipes, 4 barrel, 580 cubic inch carburetor. Uh, race six speed manual with an ultralight flywheel. It's got independent front suspension in the front and it's got live axle rear suspension in the back. Race rear shocks, race spindles, race drum brakes, all that types of good stuff. Um, it does have dual exhaust, pretty sure I already said that, but whatever. Uh, sorry I'm running so fast through this. A uh, whole bunch of specs that you can't see for some reason. I think it's that thing. But, uh, yeah. I got uh, matte red pinstripe on gloss black paint, so let's go take it for a drive, shall we? Mm -hmm. I'll obey some traffic lights just so I can show you how this thing drives normally. So, second gear, about 45 mile an hour. Of course, I'm not really hammering it, and if I was, I'd probably be going a whole lot faster. Down to solid ground here. Right. Just pretend that the light turns green right now. So that supercharger scream, baby. Be a BMG video without a crash. Look at that. I just destroyed that thing. Oof. Well, next vehicle. Alright, so the next vehicle is a boat. And you might be wondering how do I get a boat in the water if I'm on land? Well, that's the thing. I can put myself in the water to get the boat on the water. I go just about right. Just keep going. Just keep going until the roof's submerged right there. Put the parking brake on. Grab the boat, and I'm in the wrong menu. Um, grab the boat, which is the speedboat. Simple engine. Single, sorry, not simple. And uh, here it is. It's this big red chrome thing. I have a lot of fun with it. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun to play around with. It's got a super high red line and it just... It's better when you rev it up in neutral. It just takes forever t for the RPMs to fall back down. So I just go like this, shift it in drive, and then it falls right back down. But, without further ado, we can... No, let's just stick with 97.2. Don't know where you want to go first, but let's uh let's do like a couple of tricks and then we'll do a top speed run and yeah, well we'll get it back on land and then we'll do a couple of bag races. Oh man, you know freaking Fast, oh man. What if we shift into reverse right now? Just start turning the other way. And spin it. Drive. There you go, see? You did a perfect 180. Now, top speed test. This is going to be the real thing. Just get it down to about zero miles per hour. Here we go. Three, two, one. Top speed all the way to the bridge. This camera's a whole lot better. 
course you can't really see anything, but just wait. Oh man, we're hitting almost 120. Oh my gosh, look at that boat go. Oh, he just did like a full barrel roll. There we go. That's all I'm talking about. How'd that even just happen? Oh, uh, well, the front of my boat's pretty screwed up. Let me uh, go ahead and reset it. Just put it on the right here. Said. Let's get her back on land and uh, get back on land. We can go. Oh man, this thing's really struggling. Get her back on land. We can go to the drag strip and test out some drag cars. So I will uh, see what the. If you guys are wondering how I get the boat back on land, it's pretty much the exact same way I get it in the water, but backwards. You just floor it right about here and it'll get back up on land. Of course, it does not come without consequences usually, and now I'm upside down. Well, I'll see you at the drag strip. Alright, so we're here at the uh, drag strip, and I want to test out my special car first, and then we'll go to different ones. Let's get this thing. Not like burnouts, apparently. Alright. Let's uh, see what this thing's drag capacity is. good. I think it reached like 120 mile an hour right there. But uh, other than that, let's go to the next one. Which is the Rusty Drag Series. I call them cousins, but they're really brother and sister. Rusty Drag and Rusty Drag Diesel, those are the two uh, trucks that we're going to be testing out today. Sound like Forrest Gump there. We'll get the other one in the other lane. And then, well, I mean, of course, we can't drag it at the same time because this one doesn't have the same UI that the West Coast does. And yes, I don't know why, but this thing's a whole lot louder than the other one. So if you cannot hear me, I apologize. Test uh, this one first. So here we go. Dang, 200 miles an hour. That's not bad. Especially for this rusty bucket of junk. I'll just leave that flipped upside down right there. Now, time to test the second one. Oh, it's 
Sen atıdan Final, final vehicle that I want to show you guys today is the rocket truck. It's uh, just just a regular semi on uh, steroids. And yes, if you're asking, yes, it does have three rocket boosters on it. This is what you are seeing. It's a 12-speed manual with rockets. I just shifted in neutral for this part because it's it's a pain in the butt. So uh, here we go. Oh man! Brakes are fading. Engine brake. That didn't even work either. Oh man! I have to tell you guys, this truck's really bouncy for some reason. Guess maybe the rockets just make it that way. Damn, my wheel has spikes on it now. That's that's real cool. Never thought it would be fun to off-road with a broken semi truck and smash. Oh, well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I broke my game. So, as always, I will see you in the next video. Peace.